Hey fellow online sellers, this is JB Malik from HonestOnlineSelling.com. Hope you're having a great March. I want to talk to you today about uh, how to find low-cost books and sell them for big profits online. This is going to be one of two videos. The second video I'll post tomorrow. So if you already sell on eBay, you can also sell on Amazon.com too. Uh, I tell everybody, don't put your eggs in one basket. If you want to sell goods online, don't just use one avenue. If you sell all your goods on eBay um, and nowhere else, and for any reason that's happened to me before, eBay uh, um, blocks uh, your uh, blocks your selling for whatever reason. They're investigating you, which can happen even to very good sellers. You're going to be without sales for a couple, three days. So uh, one great other avenue to look for uh, to sell goods is Amazon.com and it's a great way to sell used books. So before I get into the used books I just use this uh, image as a demonstration. It's like owning stocks. You want to be <clears throat> selling in multiple venues to minim uh, minimize your risk. You might want to be on eBay and Amazon and know how to sell on Craigslist and know how to sell on uh, Overstock.com as a merchant. So just uh, Keep diversifying. Keep diversifying your skill set. Learn how to sell in diff different channels. Used, box, uh, used books, if you didn't know this already, could be uh, can be bought very cheaply and they're going to be sold for big profits on Amazon.com. Um, it's not as simple as it sounds. There's a lot of neat uh, strategies that you can use to stay a cut above your competition. I'm going to show you those in the second video. So if you're serious about making a steady income by selling used books, you're going to need a few things, okay? One of them, first thing is obvious, you need to source for inventory, okay? <clears throat> a lot of libraries sell off their used books every day, or they'll sell a lot uh, during an annual or biannual book fair. Goodwill stores, where you see um, uh, cl mostly clothing, they typically have a few shelves dedicated to books, so check those out. Salvation Army store, same thing. Salvation Army uh, charity stores. Church fairs. Uh, a lot of churches have uh, uh, book fairs. Uh, spring is coming. You're going to see a lot more of those. Church uh, churches also have uh, stores and um, used goods uh, used goods stores in their basement. Um, sometimes they allow the public to come and purchase goods there. Estate sales. Keep an eye out on Craigslist or your local paper for estate sales where a, a house's contents um, go up for sale. Yard sales. Garage sales. Um, people that are unloading goods in their home, they uh, they tend to have a lot of books for sale. Another thing that you're going to need to sell books online, if you want to make it easy for you, is an Amazon.com merchant account. This is free to get. This won't cost you anything. I put this URL here. This will take you directly to their sign-up page. I don't make any profit from this. This is uh, http colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com forward slash Amazon dash selling. It's much easier to sell books on Amazon than it is on eBay because Amazon already has the information of all the books stored. You just identify yourself as a merchant and that you have a copy of the book and it can be up for sale uh, within a matter of minutes. The third thing, and this is going to be a little uncomfortable for some people, but I'm going to explain in the second video why this is critical. You're going to need what's called a PDA scanner. It's essentially a PDA with a barcode scanner attached to it. You can't find these everywhere. Don't bother building one yourself. Your best bet is to rent one. I'm renting one at 60 bucks a week. I'll rent it for a, a, about two weeks for $120, and I'll ship it back uh, to the uh, um, person uh, to the company I'm renting it from. I'm going to explain why this is critical. If you don't, if you don't want to be, uh, if you don't want to spend this little bit of money um, to get a scanner, you're going to be at a huge disadvantage, and I'll tell you why later. Uh, again, I don't make any money on this by referring you to this company, which I'm going to do in the second video. For the best results, you want to learn about how to sell books online from soup to nuts. You want to get this book. There's the URL for it. It's books.honestonlineselling.com. It's a $27 guide. It's all that you need to know about selling books online. I highly recommend it. So here's my experience. I've done this once. Okay, So I rented the scanner. And I've gone to one Goodwill store, okay? I bought about maybe, I'd say, 25 books. I'm only going to give you a couple examples here. And I'm going to show you the proof in the second video. But here's a, a paperback called Born in Blood and Fire. Uh, it's about uh, some Latin American struggle. I paid $1.99 for it. I sold it on Amazon 
for $16, okay? I'm going to prove it to you here. Born and Blood and Fire. I've already shipped this the other day. Uh, it sold for $16, okay? That's my listing on Amazon. Uh, so my gross profit was $14, or seven times my purchase price. That's 700% gross profit margin. After my uh, Amazon.com commissions, etc., a gross profit would probably be about $11 or $12, or roughly 500% profit margin. Here's another example. This is uh, some study workbook for Arrhythmia, some medical study book. I paid $2.99, and I sold it for $24. Okay? Here it is here. Here's proof of my sale. This is shipped. ECG workout, exercises in arrhythmia interpretation, $24. Okay? So my gross profit was $21, or seven times my purchase price. That's a 700% gross profit margin. Keep visiting my blog for part two where I reveal more. Uh, in the meantime, pick up this book that I mentioned earlier. It's $27. It's well worth it. You get a 60-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it. The URL is books.honestonlineselling.com. And my blog can be found at honestonlineselling.com. If you have any ideas or tips or questions about this video, please feel free to drop me an email at honestonlineselling at gmail.com. Stay tuned for part two.